we're all right now, we're here sharing out our ideas, feeling happy and healthy. Those are the factors that makes us think that our world is peaceful. But our world is like an iceberg. And what we're seeing, feeling right now is just the surface. The deep down part of us is an unlikely world. And how has that unlikely world been happening for the past few years? I'd like to give out my three examples to prove that. First of all, we have the problems of unreliable food sources. Nowadays, it's easy to discover illegal chemicals inside the foods that we eat every day, and these chemicals are the main causes of cancer and other severe health problems. The people, the ones who sell out these foods, know this problem clearer and better than all of us. But why aren't they still selling it? They know that their food would hurt the society, but why are they keeping doing that? The answer is pretty clear. It's because of one phrase is called personal selfish. In their vision, they are only seeing their own benefits and profits from selling all those food. They don't think or care for the community or the people who is consuming their food. Secondly, Alvajan leaves problems onto the trash, going out into the environment every day and specifically in Vietnam. According to the update online newspapers, every day we have up to 35,000 tons of trash thrown out directly into the environment in Vietnam. And 80% of those are plastic. As you all know, plastic would last for hundreds of years, hurting animals, water source, and the people who is contacting indirectly with that source of plastic. The people who throw out those plastic trash and unconscious trash know that problems pretty well. They most of them know that their trash may hurt animals, may pollute the water, may cause others to have diseases and cancer, but they're still doing it. Why? It's also because of their personal selfish. They can't see the immediate result having on them, and so they will keep continuing doing that until they see an immediate result effect negatively on their life. Thirdly, last but not least, we're having war. In the past few weeks, threat is increasing between the U.S. and Iran. According to the New York Times, the risk of having war between these two countries have increased by 8%. If war may happen between the U.S. and Iran, it may be another war between the two other countries. And as we all know, war means death, thousands and millions of death. And if war happens worldwide, or just between the two countries in the world, it will destroy most of our effort on fighting with the climate change, improving our educational systems, and a lot of other sides. How is it affecting? Let me explain. We're going around telling people to stop throwing out trash, telling the education system prime minister to improve the educational system, but if war happens, boom, bop, drop, our people die. We can't fix that, and it, was, it will destroy all our effort on changing the world. So what are we doing right now would be nonsense. So from that, we can all see with just those three factors, it is affected a lot on our lives, other people's lives, and the way of getting our society sustainable. So that's why I like to have my two messages, one sent to all of us here and around the world, and one is sent to the world nation's leaders. I'd like to express my first message first, and it's my message to our community. Our community is like a building, and each of us is a brick in that building. If we're being selfish, it means that each brick is standing alone. So if each brick is standing alone being a part of that building, the building will collapse, just like our community. And that's why if we're, being, if we're keeping being selfish, our community can't reach the sustainable goals. So for once, just think for others, work for others. And if you don't want to think for others, yourself, you're still selfish. Think for your next, think for your next generation, for your son, your grandson, your granddaughter. If your actions doesn't seem to have any immediate result on your life, it would and certainly would have problems and effects negatively on your next generation, your son, your grandson's life. 
So change your mind, think outside the box for others and also for yourself. The next message I want to send out is for the world leaders. You guys, I'm not telling that the world leaders are selfish, but they don't know how to understand our stuff. So, for example, Trump and maybe Kim Jong Un and people like that, if they just take a small step back, place themselves into each other position, trying to understand our stuff, maybe war or threat would not be happening right now. Maybe our world would be more peaceful. By that way, if we can fix all those two problems in our community, I really believe that we could get to a point where society will be sustainable. I used to have a dream that we would be able to create a community where all of us and as well as our next generation would be able to study, grow together, play in a healthy, clean environment, healthy food, and the risk of no war. Heal the world, make it a better place for you, for me, and for all of us, for our next generation too. Thank you.